Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Place. Welcome back to the wonderful land of Vinland, where we're killing a bunch of Castilian Patriot Rebels, because fuck them. We just finished all of our cores, so it doesn't even matter that they seize this shit, but I would prefer it if they would lose here, and I would prefer it if they would kill my heir, but they're not going to kill my heir, are they? My heir is like fucking immortal. Immortal. Coffee boom. Okay, so coffee's worth more now. Nice. Wow, this is a close battle, but I think we're going to lose because they're rolling nines and we're not. Yeah, we're rolling zeros now. All right, get out of there. Damn it. God damn it. Dag nab it, damn it. All right, come on then. I have more troops coming from the new world. I'm sorry, from the old world. They're coming from Mobile. And if I could please just come over here. Oh, there they are. Now my troops arrive. I think what we'll do is swap the general over and just go attack him right away. Yep. Because these guys are fresh. Go kick some ass. Please kill my air. Oh, we're rolling zeros. That's a good start. Yeah. Kill my air. Kill my heir. You know you want to. I know you want to. I want you to. Please kill my heir. Hmm. Didn't kill my heir. Alright, well, at the very least, we can unsiege this shit. Better than nothing. Nuremberg will be forced to give Bohemia 10% of their income war operations and cede Niederbayern to Bohemia, cede Ratibor and Zeppes to Bohemia. Alright. So Bohemia got big. Oh, wow. Look at Bohemia. Bohemia strunk. You know, he, he kind of looks like Easter Island a little bit. Just a little fucked up. Just a, a fucked up version of Easter Island. Yeah. Oh, we finished our colony in Guadalupe. Yay! Yay! Is there anything else we need to colonize up here? Maybe. Probably. Why don't we go grab uh, Kinnipack while we're here? Cool. So that's the entire Caribbean done. Including three colonial nations from Brittany, France, and England. <laughs> kind of weird that Portugal and Castile got nothing in the Caribbean. Nothing. It all went to Brittany, France, and Castile. Different. You know what? I'm going to steal this guy. We're going to head over here. Also, what? Autoquipa and Nazca? Oh, Portuguese, right? Right, Portuguese. You damn Portuguese. You don't know what you're doing? Get the fuck out of here. The only thing that sucks about this is this is all mountains. Like, I mean, look how fucking high this terrain is, right? This is all mountains. So attacking over is going to be a pain in the dick. And it's probably all river crossings, too. Do we have any maneuver? Maneuver one. It won't be enough, though. Oh, it's not mountains. It's considered coast. All right. And we converted something. Well, keep on converting. Oh, man. That was a nice crush. Do it again. Crush again. The Crushinator. Bruneian nationalists are about to spawn. Let's see if we can go uh, get ready for them. What's our supply limit up here? 37. Oof. Now, you know what? I think we're okay with 17 dudes. 17 dudes should be enough for whatever the fuck spawns here. But I should make sure we have enough claims. Need more claims, everybody. Who the hell? Benin wants access. You got it, Benin. Whatever you say, Benin. You're the boss, Benin. Yo mama so fat, Bannon. Yep, hello King Shadow. This course should finish soon, and then when Queto finishes, we'll have our Peruvian nation. Good. And we finally got Mobile. Good. Okay, yeah, these cores are all done, so it didn't really matter that they sieged it. It's just annoying. 
Oh, wow. What the? Really? Thor's Cafe westernized in a matter, like, of three years? That was really quick. Wow, Thor's Cafe westernizing like a pro. Cool. And their liberty desire is pretty low. 20%, yeah. Hmm, Brazil's got rebels. That's nice. Yeah, Brazilian rebels. I like it. Fuck are you, Brazil? Is he actually invading Kiowa? No. He declared on Kiowa, but he's not actually invading. And of course, France has Madagascar. So historically correct. And believe it or not, the AI never really gets rebels in the colonies. Despite this being, you know, maximum aggressiveness, which means the maximum chance that they'll revolt, and the 9,000 natives, which would instantly kill pretty much any colony ever. No, no revolts ever. No problem. Fucking AI bullshit. Really don't like that stuff. It's like, you could program a good AI, or you could just give them a ton of bonuses to make up for how stupid they are. And most companies, when they're making AI, they just give them bonuses instead of making them smart. Because making a smart AI is tough. And it's not just the fact that they would have to make a smart AI. They would have to make a smart AI that, not, that, that also adapts to all the different changes with all the different patches that get released. And, I mean, that's just, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. But it's still frustrating just to see, you know, an absolute fuck ton of bonuses. Like, never taking naval attrition, never getting revolts in the colonies, just all this kind of stuff. It, it, it gets frustrating. All right, is it time to core? Not yet. Almost. Almost time to core. Come on. Come on. Come on. Finish Finish the core. Naval supplies. Okay, finish the core. You can do it. Also, how far behind on uh, first place are we? Oh, we're really close. Although the Ottomans are getting more points than we are right now. Why? So is France. Why? Minus 25%. What? It says we're number one in all three categories, but it also says minus 25%. Why? There is a, it says right here, there is a detailed view in the ledger where you can see how score is calculated for each country. Minus 25%, is that because we're overextended? Overextension is not 25, it's only 20. Like France and the Ottomans both have plus 10%. Power projection? No. Nothing here says minus 25%. Yeah, minus 25%. I have no idea. Oh, it's because we have no rival. But the only rival I can choose is France. I'm not going to rival my ally. Aw, oh, goddammit. Well, we're not going to become number one if we don't have a rival, I guess. But where does it tell you that you get less score for not having a rival? Does it tell you that anywhere, or is that just a hidden modifier? I mean, I don't see that information. Alright, well there's the core, so we can finally finish this one, which will give us a colonial nation. I 
I mean, I'm assuming you're right. You're saying it's minus 25% because we don't have a rival. But why doesn't it tell us that anywhere? Well, I have a mission to annex Chinook. Hate to say it, Chinook, but your time has come. It tells you on the shield with the question mark if you hold your mouse over it. The shield with the question mark. I don't have a shield with a question mark. Alright, well we got this stuff on siege. Uh, what's our supply limit here? 54, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, I guess I'll leave that army there. We can always build another army up here. We're certainly under our force limit. Let's go pick up this idiot. Warning, too few rivals at the top left screen. No, I have not dismissed that notification. It turns off when you're at war. It's automatic. What I don't understand is it tells you here, your score is determined by how much your nation is doing, or how well your nation is doing. Your score gains increase as the game progresses to later dates. Currently your score is gained at 182.7%. There's a detailed view in the ledger where you can see how the rank is calculated for each country. So if I go to the ledger to look at the detailed view, it, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't detail it it doesn't tell you why you're missing that 25 percent and it also doesn't tell you why the ai is getting plus 10 percent i mean i'm assuming you guys are correct you're saying it's based on rivals but it's not telling us that and it tells me specifically to look in the ledger and i'm looking in the ledger and it doesn't tell me shit Anyway, tech up time. Let's do it. New group of ideas. Oh yeah. Well, we'll save ideas for a little later. Let's let's keep focusing on teching up for now. Hover over the individual scores. You mean the right here? Yeah, nothing about minus 25%. And hovering over the actual score doesn't tell me anything. Hovering over any of this doesn't tell me anything. Okay, Stun Ovoy is done. Let's move on. What a weird place to have Vinland, but I like it. Yeah, the red on the admin rating is uh, our our loans that we have. My one loan. And that's, that's the way you can calculate how many loans someone has is based on their right there. So it says negative 0.02. You get negative 0.02 for every one loan that you have. So if you want to see how many loans a nation has, you can check that out right there. Most of these nations have have no loans. There you go. Burgundy has minus 0.16, which means he has eight loans. And Lithuania has minus 0.14, so he has seven loans. Useful information, that. It'd be cool if it just said seven loans instead of, you know, just instead of having to calculate yourself, it'd be cool if it told you how many loans they have, but whatever. All right, now we can mouse over this. Two fuel rivals. You need at least one rival 
to not have a penalty to your power projection and your score. So yeah, this is where it's telling you that you have a penalty to your score, but it doesn't tell you what that penalty is. And when you check out your score, it doesn't tell you where that penalty is coming from. So they really need to make it so you can see where the penalty is coming from. I mean, I understand it, but they need to explain it. And they're not explaining it. And I'm not going to set that rival. I don't care. Fabricate on Comanche. We're just going to go step by step. We're going to eat all these fuckers. And I hope Shoshone will move. No, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just have to, co we'll just have to colonize our way to this guy. Because he's got eight base stacks up there. And I want that. Look at score over time. You think that's going to do it? Score over time. There's literally nothing to mouse over on score over time. <laughs> it's not going to show you anything. Is it true that Shen is more powerful than any other any other wizard? Um, maybe? I put on my robe and wizard hat. How do you know whether a given country is small enough to be vassalized in a single war? Ah, good question. Well, if you click on someone like, let's say Mag the Bird, click on, a, click on a nation, click on one of his provinces, and then you get this little province window here, and it tells you how much that individual province that you clicked on costs. This province costs 27%. But if you mouse over the 27%, it'll tell you how much the, the nation costs. The total war score cost for all of Magdeburgian provinces is 63%. So this guy is definitely small enough to full annex or vassalize in one war. That's how you tell. Get Flanders free? Isn't Flanders free? I think Flanders is free. Yeah, Flanders is free, and he's friendly too. He doesn't want to... Oh, he's actually very interested in vassalizing. Hey, Flanders... Hey, Flanders, he wants to vassalize. Look at that, he's so close. 60 out of 66. Oh, man. So if I get a statesman, he would vassalize. And there's a statesman available. Oh, right. That's what I'm talking about. Gonna eat me some Flanders. But he has to peace out of his war before I can do it. So peace out of your war, Flanders. Gib Clay. Why haven't I eaten Kado? Because there's been no reason to. We'll do it eventually. We still have our claim. Yeah. Uh, the main reason I haven't is because he's allied to Chicksaw. And fighting Chicksaw is something I want to do kind of in an organized manner. Whereas these guys up here, they don't really have any allies. So fighting them, I can do whenever the hell we want. Turn Nukunu into a city. Make Okanogan a core. Let's do that one. That one's easy. That's this province, right? Yeah, but I need 70 admin points. Okay, colonist arrived in Sinaloa. Very nice, very nice. Very nice indeed. Hmm. 10 a month. That's not bad. Uh, the missions to get a core are really good because you need to core shit anyway. And they give you a 10 admin point refund at the end. So it's great. It's like free 10 admin points. Why not? You're going to core that anyway. Have I enjoyed the Norse religion so far in this game? I like picking deities, yeah. And I like the idea of bringing the Norse religion back to Scandinavia, which is going to be our goal, I think. I think our goal is going to be to eat Scandinavia and bring the Norse religion back. So we're probably going to have to take the religious idea group at some point so that we're going to be able to convert all that shit, because there's a lot of base tax to convert. I mean, we can't even convert all the shit we have right now. Look at this shit. We can't even convert all this stuff. Look at this. It's just not possible. So we're going to have to get the religious idea group, I think. And we're probably also going to want to take the uh, humanist idea group for the lowered revolt risk. Because we have too much revolt risk right now. Everywhere. Yep. See you, Fluffies. Have a good day. I think we can repay our loan. Not yet. All right, soon enough. Surprise! these Bruneian nationalists haven't spawned. I 
Okay, Morocco and Portugal have white pieced. Hmm. Come on, Flanders. Peace out of that war, dude. Peace out of that war, and I can vassalize you! Yep, we have ten merchants. That's why it doesn't doesn't show up properly up here. Because it's only meant to have up to nine that show up. We're getting extra merchants from our colonies. And we're getting extra merchants from some of our trade companies as well. Can we show the country ledger and show how much gold our native Indians have? You mean how much money they have? Let's see. Choctaw has 3,000. Navajo has 2,500. Cherokee, 20... Oh my god, they have so much money. Holy crap, what are they doing with all this? Look at Kado. kado has got 1,259 ducats. Jesus Christ, Kado. What are you doing with all that money? I guess they're doing nothing with all that money. Huh. Okay, well. Looks like we can go to war for money pretty soon. <laughs> Just build all of the buildings. <laughs> My goodness. The natives are broken again? Yeah, I guess they are. Because they weren't doing this earlier. Last time I checked how much they had. Um, like before 1.11. In 1.10, I checked how much they had, and they all had, like, you know, 200 or 300 ducats. Now they've got 10 times that. Wow. Just wow. Okay, Flanders, can you please peace out of your war? Just peace out of your war, dude. You don't need to be in this war, trust me. What you do need is to be my bitch. So you need to peace out of this war and become my bitch right now. No? Well, soon enough. Reduce inflation with admin points? I really don't want to. We might have to, though. Stupid phone call. Don't call me on the phone. Stop it. What area code is 312? I don't know. I am noticing the game is getting a lot slower as we're moving towards uh, 1700. Hmm. Okay, improve relations with France. Naranga sets done. Great. Um, start filling in the gaps, I guess. Or maybe we should colonize around here. Uh, yeah, maybe we should fill in around the natives first, just so that we make sure that they don't move or grow. Because they can start colonizing, too. Alright. Start right here. Still can't repay that loan. Wow. There we go. Yay! Repay our loan. Scotland, are you fabricating yet? Tell me you're fabricating. No, he's still not fabricating. God damn it, Scotland. He's got a balanced leader. If only he had an aggressive leader. Yeah, we, well, I think we can get to 190 relations. I think we can. The only penalty is negative 10. We can't marry him now. I mean, we get an alliance that's plus 50, so we'll be at 140. And then we get, uh, we give them military access, that's 150. We guarantee them, that's 160. We take their trade power, that's like 165. And then we give them a gift, and that's 190, and that's done. Yay, Salish has cord. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can get them as a vassal. They just need a piece out of their war, that's all.
Okay, go top off Danemark, who's friendly again. Nice to see him friendly. It means that they're very likely to join offensive wars. Yeah, I'm not going to set France as a rival. I'm thinking if, if we can conquer more of England, maybe we can get someone else as a rival. Or maybe France as a rival isn't so bad. Maybe we can just fight France. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, wow. Ethiopia is eating a Juron. Look at that. Look at Ethiopia go. Holy shit. Castile and England are allies. That's fine. England can't even kill his rebels. That's how sad England is. Okay, these Brunei nationalists are about to spawn. I should probably put my air over there. So that when they spawn, they'll um, have some stiff competition. Look at Brittany go, and France is over here too. Wow, that's kind of amusing. I guess that means I should focus a little bit more on Australia. Well, it doesn't matter that much. Well, no, it does, because there's a lot of good base tax here. But it's just a colony, and colonies don't matter. Well, they sort of matter. God damn it, I'm conflicted. What the fuck? Ragusa? I shit you not, Ragusa has sieged France's colony of Halmahera. Are you kidding me? Ragusa has sailed? I, I don't even know what to say about that. That's fucked up. It's cool, but it's fucked up. No, Castile is not Spain because Aragon still exists over here. Castile has to have Valencia to become Spain. And they don't have Valencia. Okay, we're going to fill in most of these gaps here around the natives. Probably just make a little ring, and then we'll eat the natives. More tech up time. Very good. Oh, look at that. We're ahead. We're ahead. Oh, man, that was quick. Swivel can. All right. That was quick, man. We're now ahead on military attack. So good. I think we're doing okay. I don't want to attack Comanche yet. Maybe I do. No, we'll wait. You know what? Actually, I need to call this episode a little early. Uh, sorry for the short one here. It's only 28 minutes. I'm so sorry. Uh, we'll be back next time, probably for a war on England. We have our three claims on these English territories here in North America. Um, and I want to feed Scotland the, the four border provinces here so we can start coring that and hopefully converting some of it. But that'll have to be next time. So I'll see you then. Have a good day.